Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Our first uh, video after our hack. It wasn't so funny but I'm really thankful we got our YouTube channel back. Big thank you to the team YouTube on Twitter. So if you find that your uh, channel is being hacked or uh, just reach out to them on Twitter and they will help you out. So in this video we're going to introduce the ATSEER laser engraver. It's a 20 watt laser and uh, the big benefit of a 20 watt laser compared to a 10 watt laser we can cut more faster um, I'm yeah I'm behind schedule because I really want to do a transition um, we also found out that our current model is way too heavy it's 5.8 kilos uh, to make it more lightweight we're going to cut parts out of uh, balsa wood this part is just like 34 grams and it's cut it out of balsa wood. Also, we need to upgrade our cable management. Uh, it must be more logical. We're going to make it fully functional. Uh, we're going to use also working retracts. This is the most asked question from you guys. Uh, please make a retract during hover. So I will do that and I will also add some lighting as well. So this video is about making the new F35. Uh, we're going to introduce the ATSAR la laser and we're going to use it and uh, we will do a nice review about it. So no long introduction needed, we go to work. Finally. So before we do the review of building it, using it, I just want to compare the laser size. This is a 20 of a uh, 10 watt laser from Otter. Look, it's way more bigger. This laser is quite easy to build and it came with a really, really nice manual. To cut our first parts, we're going to use the program Lightburn. Um, it converts uh, my uh, DXF files to cutting files. And let's play with the settings 20 watts. So I'm going to start with uh, uh, 800 millimeters uh, a minute with, let's say, 90% of energy. I do read on the forums not to go to 100% of energy. It will uh, gain lifetime if you just put a maximum of 95% of energy. So let's try it out. This is a really cool feature. You got this user guide. And uh, as you can see, if we want to cut uh, play wood, they also got some presettings to use it for the first time if you are new with laser engraving or cutting. This came quite handy and really, this is really nice guys. All the settings are made in light burn. So, makes our lives more easy. Thank you so much uh, ATSR, great.
Okay guys, let's proceed our build. Uh, by the way, sneak preview, if you look in the background, you can see that we are already printing a 1 to 8 scale F35A and we're going to make also an F35B, uh, 1 scale to 8. So there was, this will be a 2 meter model. So what we're now going to do, I already cut out all the parts with the ATC laser. Um, and now I have to remove all parts from the first model into this new model. And indeed it's more lightweight. Um, so I cannot wait to finish this model. So let's go back to work. Okay, this has already started to be a long video. Uh, let's do a short tour around the F25. Um, I decided to install the lid pops from the top side. Way more easy. But I promise you, uh, working retracts in the beginning of the video. So let's do that. Let me see. So, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you are new to this channel, uh, please subscribe, uh, consider to subscribe. Um, I also, I've also a Dutch channel. Uh, links are below in the description and if you really are interested in this ATSR laser and parts links are also in the description You will get a nice discount too um, Overall, I'm happy with this laser. Um, I'm really happy with the new results of the F25 version 2 so I will continue building this model and hopefully I can give some updates next week As always see you next time